In lesson two, we calculated compound interest using the compound interest formula by entering values in directly into the formula here with Google Sheets. Now here in video three, we'll do it in a similar fashion, but because we have created this table, this worksheet, we can reference several of the cells directly, which will then allow us to change these variables and thus affect the amount revealed. So we only have to create the formula one time and we can adjust the calculated amount by simply just changing some of the variables for principal rate and time. So to create the first one, once again we start with the equal sign. We can click directly on the principal rather than typing it in. So this is the P, principal multiplied by 1 plus r over n. So we need to multiply. We need our parenthesis. 1 plus, and then we need to put in parentheses this calculation for rate divided by the number of compounding periods per year. So the rate is here at d11. 0.025 or 2.5 percent, but remember it has to be in the form of a decimal, so we're leaving it in this format. Although if it was formatted as percent, it would still interpret it as a decimal value, which is a nice thing about using these worksheets. That's divided by the number of compounding periods. Annually means one time per year, so we're going to go ahead and put in a one directly for that. Put that in parentheses, and then the entire calculation needs to be in parentheses, and then it's time to raise it to this power of n times t, and that calculation we will put in parentheses. n, once again, is the number of time periods, so we know that it's 1 because it's annually, and then we're going to multiply that by the number of years, which is right here, so we can click that directly and then enclose that in parentheses. And round it up, it's $58. If yours looks like this, that's okay. In fact, I'm just going to leave it just like that. Two decimal places. We'll do one more and then you can finish the rest of these. This one compounded quarterly, so that'll be four times. Click on the principal, multiply that times 1 plus r divided by n, our rate here, 0.0255 or 2.55% divided by n, which in this case, because it's quarterly, that would be 4 times per year. Raise that to a power of four times the number of years over here in column F12, cell F12. And I'll increase the decimal places there. So go ahead for this assignment and complete the rest of these. For those of you in class, have me come by, verify those numbers. And those of you at home will be turning in a copy of this worksheet after you complete this lesson.